Here's Trish Regan. This is really bat crap crazy. The, uh, you know, this came up in our conversation with Weigel. But uh, in terms of the mechanics of the campaign, for someone like Joe Biden and uh, Donald Trump, it inhibits uh, Donald Trump's ability to run the campaign that he wants to run, the existence of COVID-19. Uh, it helps, um, I think, um, a Biden. It, I, you know, I have some legitimate worries that he could win, and uh, I think, like, you know, not having to campaign as much would actually, in some ways, help him, I think. Um, but one of the things that I think the Trump administration is very worried about is the shape of the economy because they completely have underestimated the impact of COVID-19. They thought that they could just talk it away. They're still trying to do it. Trish Regan is on Fox Business desperately trying to pretend that this is all just a hoax and a conspiracy. Reminder. The last guy who publicly went and said it was a hoax was Matt Gates going around with a gas mask. He's since had a constituent die, and he is now on self-quarantine. Here is Trish Regan attempting to formulate an argument that appears to be written, but she's pretending it's not. This is just the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. The chorus of hate being leveled at the president is nearing a crescendo as Democrats blame him and only him for a virus that originated halfway around the world. This is yet another attempt to impeach the president. And sadly, it seems they care very little for any of the destruction they are leaving in their wake. Losses in the stock market. All this, unfortunately, just part of the political casualties for them. You know, this is like, like, like... I, I can't help but think like the the the, the, the teleprompter was going awry, right? Like, or, or it's just her very first time reading through this. Yeah, like I didn't for them. So the just to keep you up at home, this whole coronavirus thing is an impeachment scam. Uh, the idea being that like we're gonna sink the stock market, as if like these professionals on the stock market. They can't pick out like, oh, this coronavirus thing. Do you think this is real? Nah, I don't know. Uh, Chuck Schumer says it is. So maybe I should sell all my stocks. All this, unfortunately, just part of the political casualties for them. You know, this is a time to be united, not to be pointing fingers, not to be encouraging hate. And yet, what do we hate. see? We see the absolute opposite from the left tonight. Good evening, everyone. I am Trish Regan. The hate <laughs> is boiling over, many in the liberal media using, and I mean using, coronavirus in an attempt to demonize and destroy the president. Positive. Using. And I, she means using. And I mean utilizing. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. I don't think the president is... Oh, you got to go back. And the hate is boiling over, many in the liberal media using, and I mean using... Using. ...coronavirus in an attempt to demonize and destroy the president. I don't think the president is capable of telling us the truth about the coronavirus. They have no plan. They have no plan. The virus is going to kill Americans regardless of their stupidity. This administration right now looks like they couldn't organize a one-car parade. He is not going to be able to have his rallies, and it is going to psychologically torment him. The president should lead, or else he should get out of the way, stay on the golf course. This may be Donald Trump's Katrina. Yeah. This is an event that could take down a president. There's no confidence in the president in anything he says or does. I wish he would just be quiet. I see. <laughs> this is impeachment all over again. And like with the Mueller investigation, like with Ukraine Gate. They don't care who they hurt. Oh, my God. Whether it be their need to create mass hysteria to encourage but a deposit, market. Like, I'm just fascinated by this. What is she? Is she now, like, in, like, this mode where she's trying to make it seem like she's thinking about this as, like, like it's off the cuff? Like, go back just a little bit, because she has this look that she yeah. does this look off camera where I can't tell if it's her trying to signal to the teleprompter people like it's broken again 
or if it's her trying to pretend like she's doing off the cuff. I find this just absolutely fascinating. She's vibing. And like with the Mueller investigation, like with Ukraine Gate, they don't care who they hurt, whether it be their need to create mass hysteria, right there, right there, right there, right there, like market sell-off, unlike anything we've seen recently, or whether it be to create mass hysteria in order to stop our economy dead in its tracks. Don't kid yourself. They told us how much they crave a recession as a way to get rid of Donald Trump. I think it's just somebody who's very into their own voice and also doesn't have like the content to fill up something to say. Do you think to a certain extent people are going like, <laughs> stretch? Oh wait, is she an opera singer? I just that wow. Let's see what we got here. Uh, that was her great aria just now. Trish. Uh, wow. <laughs> I can do that. That's what it's like in the studio. Only God knows. I don't know what's the avatar lighting. Let the mighty This country's far too young to die. Jeez. Happy Fourth, everyone. God bless America. Wow. Wow. Are you going to take back the mean things you said about her I, now? I forget about it. I, impressive. She got quite pipes, like a lot of pipes. I, you know, I wish she had sung the national anthem in the same way where it's like she's trying to pretend like she's making it up. Or she should, or she should <laughs> sing her monologues. <laughs> yes. One or the other. But if she had just like taken that look in the middle of like, and the home of the, of the brave, like that, that type of thing would have been nice. But I didn't need to look it up to know that she was a pageant queen. And <laughs> I'm guessing that was her talent. There you go. Yeah. 